cherry bushes that I covered last night. It got down in the 20s. It's 32 this morning, but I gotta get this plastic off of them before it damages the buds. And the plastic is off of the plum tree, and it looks like it did okay. Thank goodness. All right, so we're gonna check on the muscadines and the grapes this morning. They're still dormant, so I know they're okay. This is the uh, bronze muscadine. And this is the purple. Of course, the frost didn't kill the weeds. Let's go look at this grape vine. Oh, it looks sad. I did not cover it last night. Maybe it'll bounce back. It's, it's young. It wouldn't be fruiting this year anyway. So, I did not cover it. Maybe I should have. And this little one here is still dormant. So, we'll go check on this Brad for Pear, the husband. His Valentine's present. <clears throat> Looks like it's still green. I did not cover it last night because it was, uh, since it's not a fruiting tree and it's ornamental, I wasn't really concerned. And it's a new plant. It's got a lot of growing left to do, of course. Hubby didn't know what he was getting into when he asked for this. But that is one reason that I planted it way away from the house. <laughs> and there's Mittens out scoping something to hunt. That is a good hunting cat. She's always bringing a prize to the house. Chipmunks, squirrels, birds, bugs. Doesn't matter. She gets it all. She earns her keep on the farm. All right, so we're gonna uncover these blueberry bushes and see how they did. Well, if Cash Kitty would leave them alone, looks like they've done okay. That is a nuisance, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I love him, but he is a pest. I let him stay inside last night, which I do most nights anyway, but him and Mittens came in last night, and this thing gets in my plants and decides they should be a litter box. Drives me nuts, I'm always cleaning up dirt in the mornings. Well, let's look at the itty bitty blueberry bushes. Okay, I didn't cover them. They didn't have blooms on them and they're so tiny anyway, they're not gonna do anything this year. Let's look at the blackberries. They're okay too. I have got to get their trellis up. I keep putting it off because I know that's going to be some deep digging for the post that I've got. But I need to suck it up, buttercup, and do it on today. This evening, well, won't be today. Today is my class day. I told y'all I was taking those master gardener courses. And we're going to check on the greenhouse. I ran the heater in there last night and two heat lamps just in case the heater went out so we'll check that out and see how toasty warm it is inside Ooh. 
could feel good in here. Let's see if we can find the temperature. Ninety degrees. I think I'll cut some of these lights off. Or it gets a little too warm, but I got some happy maters and very happy peppers. And these are the ones I potted up yesterday because they were just doing like these, getting way too big for the little solo cup. So I'll be graduating tomatoes up again. But boy, they look happy in this heat. See the condensation on the peppers, everybody's happy. Nice. They didn't feel that 20 degrees. So I came out to the greenhouse this morning just to check on things for a few minutes. Everybody's happy and thriving. It's 90 degrees in here. The heat lamps, the heater, everything worked wonderfully. I um We'll be going to my master gardener class today, trying to get my education on. It's not about a certificate for me, it's about learning what I'm doing. As y'all know, this is my first year gardening and I have overly seeded tomatoes and peppers, but I'm ecstatic, they're all growing. Haven't lost anything really, except for maybe one. And that was the cat's fault, not mine. <coughs> She thinks that she's supposed to eat the leaves when they were in the house. So I got them out here to keep them away from her. And I don't know if you can hear that little tap, tap, tap sound. That is the cat walking across the top of the greenhouse. Yesterday I came in and he had uh, tore a hole down in the wall and had his head stuck through because he was trying to get into me. So I had to use some Gorilla Tape. That works wonderful in case you ever need a little trick to seal up a hole in your plastic gorilla tape is the way to go comes in a clear it seals off no big deal anyway just giving you a quick update um gotta go get ready for class y'all have a good day happy gardening